Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today, today's devotional. Prayer requests. Gary Scandal's youngest daughter needs prayers because her life is um, going downhill, spiraling out of control um, due to bad decisions and addiction. Um, also, Gary has a friend who lost a son recently. Heart of Gold Cuisine is requesting prayer for patience. Uh, Bruce, um, also known as uh, Batman's Ghost, or Bruce Haas Batman, um, requested prayers for guidance. Jan's Life Journey requested prayer for a YouTuber named Amy, um, whose mother had a heart attack. Mrs. Hopkins 73 requested prayer for her friend who uh, lost her mother. And Susan Robertson has to go to the eye doctor. There's something going on with her eye. So I guess she's looking at possible surgery. Maybe something else can be done. So she's waiting to find out about that. Today's scripture is from, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Luke chapter 8, verses 11 to 15. This is the meaning of the parable, the seed is God's word. The seeds that fell on the footpath represent those who hear the message, only to have the devil come and take it away from their hearts and prevent them from believing and being saved. The seeds on the rocky soil represent those who hear the message and receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they believe for a while, then they fall away when they face temptation. The seeds that fell among the thorns represent those who hear the message, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the cares and riches and pleasures of this life. And so they never grow into maturity. And the seeds that fell on the good soil represent honest, good-hearted people who hear God's word, cling to it, and patiently produce a huge harvest. Uh, the devotion today is titled, Sun Followers. Sunflowers sprout in a carefree manner all over the world. Pollinated by bees, the plants spring up on the sides of the highways, under bird feeders, and across fields, meadows, and prairies. To produce a harvest, however, sunflowers need good soil. Well-drained, slightly acidic, nutrient-rich soil with organic matter or, or composted, says the Farmer's Almanac. Finally, produces tasty sunflower seeds, pure oil, and also a livelihood for hardworking sunflower growers. We also need good soil for spiritual growth. As Jesus taught in his parable of the farmer scattering seed, God's word can sprout even in a rocky or thorny soil. It only thrives, however, in the soil of honest, good-hearted people who hear God's word, cling to it, and patiently produce a huge harvest. Young sunflowers are just as patient in their growth. Following the sun's movement throughout the day, they turn sunward daily in a process called heliotropism. Mature sunflowers are just as deliberate. They turn eastward permanently, warming the face of the flower and increasing visits from pollinator bees. This in turn produces a greater harvest. As with those who care for sunflowers, we can provide a rich medium for God's word to grow by clinging to his word and following after his son. Developing honesty and a good heart for God's word to mature us. It's a daily process. May we follow the sun and grow. What's the condition of your spiritual soil? Is it rocky, thorny, or rich in spiritual nutrients? Why? 
When you follow the sun daily, how does this practice impact your honesty and heart? Thank you for joining me in today's devotion, and I hope you all have a very wonderful Friday.